Hi, everybody. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Darren Kramer. And I'm Sonia Baghdadi in for Ann Nyberg tonight. A convicted sex offender under arrest after police say he tried to assault another young boy. That alleged attack has a Vernon neighborhood on edge. News 8's Bob Wilson live outside our Hartford newsroom now with more. Bob? You know, this story will make the hair on the back of your neck just stand up on edge. Listen to the charges. Attempted illegal sexual contact with a minor. Attempting to deliver alcohol to a minor and risk of injury to a minor. The attempted in there, it's the difference. It's so slight between an actual victim, a 13-year-old victim, and just a close call. And police say it came down to a heads-up mom. When you look up Mark Tucker on the sex offender registry list, his name pops right up. Sexual assault on a minor in Vermont. Now, Vernon police say he's at it again in Connecticut, accused of attempted sexual assault. Police say he tried to pick up a 13-year-old boy, hire him to wax his car, and then give him a beer. The boy's mother was suspicious, looked him up on the registry, and then called police. This was a very alert mother um, who had some uh, bad feelings on what was going on, and she decided to uh, take the appropriate action, which was very, very good. She probably prevented something from happening. News 8 went to his apartment complex where he lived and showed his picture to neighbors. Do you, have you seen this guy right here? No. His name is Mark Tucker. Okay. He was uh, just arrested for attempted sexual assault on a minor, 13-year-old. Oh, wow. And he lives right in here. Oh, I'm glad he's caught. He's a few doors down from me. I've seen him in the halls on the elevator going up and down, keeps to himself, doesn't really look at anybody, talk to anybody, just sort of stays in his own world. Police say he lived here at this building at 407, apartment number 407. And while neighbors say they have seen him around, police did want to make sure that that picture got out there. They say if you see him or he's been hanging around your children, they want to talk to you because they believe because of his past history, there may be other victims out here in the community. And the information we learned from that case, um, that there would be a, uh, a likelihood that there would be other victims um, that may be out there that uh, either the parents are unaware of something happened uh, or, you know, it just wasn't reported. Police say Tucker works at different apartment complexes doing maintenance. Apartment complexes where there are children. Residents are applauding police for getting the word out. I think everyone has a right to know, especially if it's in your own backyard. There's kids that play right across the street here on a regular basis. There's a bunch of boys that play out over here every day after school or in the evenings together. Now, Tucker had two Cadillac SUVs Escalades. Uh, police say one of them he used kind of like bait. That's what he was trying to get the 13-year-old uh, to wash and wax his car. The second one turns out they found in a storage unit. They say it was stolen. He'll also, he's already facing larceny charges on that as bail, $50,000 cash. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in Hartford, News 8.